Hi, welcome to the series of Jasper reports. In this session, we are going to discuss about the drill down concept on HTML pie charts in Jasper Soft Design Studio. The agenda for this session is, firstly, I will walk you through the basics of drill down concept. Then we will see an example on how we can achieve drill down reporting from summary report to detailed report. Let's get started. What is drill down? Drill down is a mechanism to navigate from summary report to detailed report. We call summary report as parent report and detailed report as child report. Now, how we can achieve this drill down concept from parent report to child report? Using hyperlinking mechanism, we can achieve the drill down from parent report to child report. Hyperlinking mechanism includes several properties. The properties includes hyperlink target, hyperlink type, underscore report parameter, and additional parameters that we can pass from the parent report to the child report. In this example, we are going to configure all these properties and we're also briefly looking at what is bucket properties and what is series contributors. These properties has several options individually and we have discussed about in detail about these option in one of our previous session title with hyperlinking and drill down from parent to child report. In that particular session, we have discussed about the drill down concept from the text field to the other report. So to know more about these options in detail, uh, I would recommend to refer this hyperlinking and drill down from parent, parent to child report session. Now let us move on to the example on how we can achieve drill down from the HTML pie charts. So let us consider the scenario of product data. So in the demonstration, we are going to create two reports. One report is per parent report and the other is per child report. On the parent report, we are going to display the product sales by brand name. And on the child report, we are going to display the product sales of a given brand in the form of a grid, which means a detailed representation of the product sales. So let us see how we can configure the drill down properties on parent report first. So to start with, we are going to create these two reports individually. And then on the parent report, we are going to configure the drill down properties. So to start with, create a blank report from file, new, then Jasper report. Select the blank report from the report templates. Click on next. Let's save this report under reports folder of Jasper reports 2021 project. I'm going to name the report as drill down HTML5 parent report product sales by brand name. Click on next. From the data adapter dropdown, select the Foodmore database and let's provide the SQL for the pie chart. I have the brand name and store sales queried from sales fact table and product table. Let's run this query to see the sample records of the. So in the sample records, we can see the brand name and store sales. We are going to plot this as a graph using HTML5 component. So let's copy this query and supply it for the parent report. So click on next. Let's take the brand name and store sales fields for the graph. Click on next. Let's skip the group by fields here. Click on next, click on finish. So from the outline view, Let's remove the page header, column header, detail, column footer, and page footer bands. This is a parent report, and we are going to display the summary information. So it is always 
always recommended to take the summary band to keep the summary information. So let's save this report. Now let's give it a title to the report. I am using the same name that I used to save the report. So in a text field, let's name the report. Now, from the components pro, we have the HTML5 charts component. Let's drag this component onto the summary band. And from the list of the crops, from the list of the crops, select the pie category and select the pie chart component. Click OK. Let's adjust the height and width of this crop to match with the height and width of the summary band. Now let us configure the data properties for this chart. So right click on the component, then click on edit chart properties. And in the data configuration section, let's check what data set it is using. So the report is using report main data set. Now in the data section, let's switch to the advanced configuration so that we can clearly see what we can configure for categories and what we can configure for measures. So on the measures, select the level one and then click on modify. And in the bucket information, let's give the expression as brand name. Let's select none for the order because we have already sorted the query in the SQL. We will visit this bucket property section uh, once we have the parent report ready and once we have the child report ready. So for now, let us go with the default configuration for the bucket information section. So in the similar way, I configure the measure. So again, we are going to look at the advanced properties uh, in a short time, but let us configure the basic properties for the measure the basic properties includes label expression which is sales and then the value expression should be the store sales click on finish and this associated hyperlink uh, we are going to work with this one to uh, achieve the drill down concept as we configure the properties from this particular section, those all will appear in the advanced properties. And we consider these advanced properties as series contributors. So click OK, click OK, save the report and publish it to the server. I am going to publish this report to my local server and the local project name is Jasper Reports 2021. And I am going to publish it to the reports folder. And in the bottom, let's give the report unit and sub and publish it to the server. Select the food mod data source for the report. Then click on finish. And on the server, let's refresh this page to view the report output. So super user, super use all the credentials for the Jasper. And from the menu bar, click on view repository, then navigate to the reports folder. We can see that the report is published to the server and it is available in the list of reports here. So select the report, then click on run or click on run a new tab. On the report output, we can see that the product sales are displayed by category name. In this case, the category is the brand name. So we can see the we can see the sales of each brand name when we hover the mouse on 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 the slices. So this looks fine to me on the parent report side. Now let us move on to the creation of child report or say the drill down report. So basically we are going to develop these two reports individually and we are going to link the child report to the master report. 
and we are going to configure the drill down properties in the master report for the chart component. So let us create the child report individually and see how that comes uh, how that comes up. So in the child report, we are going to display the product sales by each brand name. That means when we supply a particular brand, we are going to see the information, product information of that particular brand. That means the brand name would be the input for the child report. So let's save this master report and close it uh, for some time. Now from the file, new Jasper report, create the child report. Select the blank report from the report templates, click on next. Let's save this report on the reports folder and let's name it as drill down grid child report product sales detail of a given brand. Let's save this report and let's give the title of the report with the same name. So from the data adapter, select the food mart for the child report and I have queried the child report to have product ID, brand name, store sales, unit sales, along with the brand name. So if I run this query, we can see what we are going to display on the grid report or the child report. So we are going to have product ID, product name, store sales, unit sales. And this I have taken for uh, referring from which brand this data is belongs to. So let's copy this query and supply it for the child report. Click on next. Then let's take all the fields for the report. Click on next. We are not going to have any groups in the child report. So let's skip this section. So click on next, click on finish. On the child report, we want to have the title band and column header band and detail band. So let's remove the page header column footer, page footer, and summary. Now, from the fields node, select the product ID, product name, store sales, unit sales, and drag them onto the detail band. Let's remove the empty spaces and let's give it a title to the report. So in a text field from the palette, Let's title the report as Drill Down Grid Child Report Product Sales Details of a Given Brand. This should be a grid like report. So, give all the labels and text fields border, multi select all of them, and in the common properties switch to the borders uh, tab then click on this all borders We are going to get the Akron related product sales in the report output because this is hard coded. So let us publish this report and see how the output is coming on the server view. So I am going to deploy this report to the reports folder and in the bottom, give the report unit, click on next and select the data source as footmark. Click on finish. Now we should be able to see the child report as an individual entity. So in the reports folder, select the drill down grid child report and run it as a separate report. Now we can see uh, the Akron related product sales information as a grid. Now let us make this report dynamic by supplying a parameter. From the outline view of the report, select the parameters node, right click on this one, 
and then click on create parameter and let's name the parameter as param brand name the parameter should be of string type because the brand name is a string uh, string type so let's keep this is for prompting uh, so that we can supply the dynamic values to the report save the report and publish it to the server as we supplied the parameter as a resource we can see uh, it is asking to uh, publish this parameter to the report or not so let us publish this parameter as well to the child report now if we run this report we should be able to see a pop up containing the brand name parameter and there we are going to supply the dynamic values so let's refresh or rerun the report we can see this input controls pop up and this is a text field type input for the report so the hard coded value is uh, brand name and now i am going to give it as american brand so click on okay uh, still we are seeing the akron related data on the report output because we haven't updated the hard coded value with the created parameter in the jrxml so let's go back to the report open the sql editor then we could see this is not updated with the parameter scroll down a bit and in the bottom menu switch to the parameter tab in the bottom we can see the created parameter which is param brand name so let us select this param brand name and update hard coded value with this parameter so now the sql is parameterized that means the report is parameterized with the param brand name so let's republish this report to the server and we should be able to see the dynamic data as we supply the different brand names so let's supply uh, american brand again click on apply or okay so click on okay here so this is all related to the american brand and to see the dynamic data of another brand click on this option option options uh, button here then let's give it a different name acron we can see uh, two records for the acron bond and in the previous run we are we were seeing a page full of records this means that this means that the report is dynamic with the uh, parameter now we reach to the core of our session which is nothing but the configuration of drill down properties so we will configure this drill down properties on the master report for that it requires the path of the child report so the path of the child report from the server is go to the list of the report select the child report and right click on the selection and then click on the properties option we can see the path of the child report is this one so let's copy and keep it somewhere here in the notepad so click on cancel and now open the master report or the parent report which is html5 pygraph so we have this as the parent report drill down html5 pi parent report so let's open this report and go to the properties of the chart so before going to the properties of this chart we need to create a parameter with the brand name from the master report so that we can supply the uh, different categories or say the brand names to that parameter so from the outline view select the parameters now then click on create parameter and the parameter should be similar that we have created in the child reports so this is this is an internal parameter 
so it is not required for the report to be given so let us uncheck this is for prompting on the master report so let's save this report now move on to the bucket properties of the category so the bucket properties we can find it on the category configure so which is the brand name in the level one category so open the properties of the category level one which is brand name in this case so let us switch to the bucket properties in the bucket property let's give the parameter created which is param brand name and in the expression we are going to give the brand name So in this particular example, we want to drill down from particular size to its detailed report. So uh, for instance, if we click on American brand, we want to pass American as value to the child report. And if you if we want to see the drill down, if you want to see the drill down, drill down details of Akron brand, uh, that Akron value should be go as an input to the child report. So these different values are coming from the fields, not from a parameter. But, but here we are mapping the field to a parameter so that the report engine will understand which value to be passed to the child report when we perform click action on the HTML pie graph. So for that purpose, we are going, we, we are giving this brand name field as an input to the parameter. So click on OK. And now in the measures, select the measure and click on modify button. And we are going to configure this advanced properties by clicking on this edit hyperlink. As we configure the properties in the edit hyperlink, those should be appear in the advanced properties. And we consider these advanced properties as series contributors of the measure. So let's click on this edit hyperlink and then select the use hyperlink we can see as we select the use hyperlink these properties are populated uh, now first configure the hyperlink target from the drop down select the blank this blank target will open the child report in a new tab when we click on a slice in the master report and hyperlink type should be uh, report execution from the drop down this is specific to the server related reports we have discussed more about these options in one of our previous sessions so if you would like to know uh, the details of these options of these properties you could refer to this particular session the session is titled as hyperlinking and drill down from parent to child report in which we discussed on how to configure this hyperlinking on a text field. More or less, these properties resembles the same meaning. So to go back to the configurations, so as we select the hyperlink type, we can see a built-in parameter is populated, which is underscore report. So this takes the path of the child report as the value. So select this underscore report parameter and click on the modify button. So this is a contributor. This is a contributor of the series and the series contributor is on measure. So we call this as series contributor. So the built-in property is underscore report, which has four different options to configure. We can use a constant value. We can use a bucket value. We can use a direct measure value, or we can use an expression. So out of these four options, let us go with the default one, use constant value. So this underscore report parameters takes the path of the child report as the value. So we have copied the path of the child report in the notepad. Let's copy this one and supply it as a value to the underscore report parameter. So copy this one and provide this constant value as the input to the underscore report. Now click OK, click OK, then then let us click on this advanced properties. We should be able to see what we what we configured in the edit hyperlink section. So advanced properties, 
So we have selected the hyperlink target, which is series item hyperlink. And all of these basically are belongs to series item hyperlink. And these are the series contributors. Hyperlink target, hyperlink type, and underscore report. So let's click on OK. Let's click OK. Save the report and publish to the server. So this is the parent report. And let's run this one in a new tab. So as we configure the hyperlink properties, we can see that uh, the cursor symbol is changed from arrow to the hand icon when we hover the mouse on each of the slices. That means we successfully configured the hyperlinking. So when we perform click action on any of these slides, we should be able to see the relevant data in the child report. So we can see nothing on the child report as I clicked on this Washington brand. This is because we haven't tell our chart component to which value it has to be passed to the child report in the, in the configuration. We have given the type of the uh, hyperlink, we have given the target, which target it has to go, and we have given onto which sub report it has to go. We can see that it has successfully navigated to the child report, but the child report is not understanding what value has to take as an input. So for that, in the chart properties, in the measures, and in the edit hyperlink, we should, we should pass the bucket property that we created under the categories. So let us give it a name. Usually, we give the name of the parameter. The parameter name is param brand name and we are going to use the second option which is bucket value we have created a bucket value as param brand name so in the drop down that should appear and we should make the selection of the created uh, bucket property so let us select the level one param brand name as the bucket property so click ok now we can see we can see that the underscore report parameter is taking the value of the child report path and we are passing a particular brand name a particular brand name as an input to the child report so that when we perform click action on any of these slides with its corresponding brand name that particular brand name will be will become an input to the child reports and the child report takes that value as an input and it runs and gives the details of the particular brand. So click OK, click OK, click OK. Save the report and republish it to the server. So now from the list of the reports, let's rerun the master report. So the master report here is drill down HTML5 by parent report. So run this report. And let's click on Washington brand. So this Washington category name or say the brand name will become the input to the child report. And it should be displaying the related product sales of this given brand. So let's perform click action on this uh, slice. Yeah, now we should be seeing the information related to the Washington brand. Now, uh, to make it complete, let us click on the another brand, which is Akron here. So let's click on Akron brand. Now we can see uh, only two records for the Akron brand. In, in the previous run, we could we, we should see, you know, we could see a page full of records for the Washington brand. So that means we, we, we have successfully configured the uh, drill down properties and we are able to see different set of records when we perform click action on uh, different set of uh, slices. So this is how uh, we, can implement, uh, we can implement the drill down concept on HTML pie charts in the Jasper Search Design Studio. 
so moving on to the moving moving on uh, we can we can differentiate uh, uh, which we can differentiate uh, the child report based on which brand name by looking at the data but what if we want to display the parameter on top of the report so for that in the child report let's uh, let's pull the parameter name onto the title band so that when we drill down to the child report we can easily understand that this particular detailed information is belongs to belongs to a particular brand so in the child report so this is the child report on the title band let us pull the parameter created the parameter is param brand name and let's label it as the brand name so that we can easily understand the output is belongs to the output is belongs to a particular brand so this is brand name now let's remove the border for this one because i copied a label from the from the headers of the headers of the report save this one let's format this one now if i run the master report again in the drill down report i should be able to see the particular category name or say the particular brand name for example i am going to click on this uh, atomic brand and this atomic will become the input to the child report and this atomic is going to be displayed on the title of the report yeah we can see that uh, the parameter or say the brand name is displayed in the report title section so this way we can configure the drill down concept and drill down uh, uh, properties in the parent report and this is how we can pass the category as an input to the child report so with this it brings us to the end of the session on the drill down concept using hyperlink chart uh, using html pie charts i hope you are a little clearer on what we saw in this session but before we wrap up let's do a quick recap of what we saw so far so moving on to the ppt we have seen uh, the drill down concepts in the first place then we have seen how we can implement drill down concept on html pie chart as a summary report to the uh, grid like report as a detailed report Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more updates.